DWF, or Design Web Format, is the official publishing format developed for Autodesk by Autodesk. If you have not adopted DWF as your publishing format, you should evaluate it fully as DWF has some interesting benefits. These are DWFs are integrated with Revit, so you don't need to purchase a separate driver. DWFs hold information. The I in the BIM is retained. Markup capabilities, which are integrated with Revit. 3D views allow users to use 3D navigation. DWF is a vector versus an image format like PDF and therefore much smaller in file size. To publish a project to DWF and then upload to Buzzsaw, select the Application menu, then choose Publish DWF to Buzzsaw. A DWF Publish Settings dialog will display. On the left, a preview pane is provided. On the right pane, three tabs are provided. The default tab is View Sheet Tab. The export flyout provides the option of the current view or sheet set only, the in session view or sheet set, any custom sheet sets that you've defined in the print range dialog. I will select schematic design set. The dialog changes to include all of the sheets I have defined in the print range. I can further select or deselect these views. Select the DWF Properties tab. In this tab, checkboxes for object data exports are provided. Note that a lot of the data is exported. For instance, walls will have their type and instance properties available. Stairs will tell you their dimensions and number of risers. Rooms, however, can be optionally included with their area and volume as well as the name data. Graphical settings can be selected and a print setup can be selected. Select the print setup button. Here, a print setup dialog for the DWF exporter is displayed. This is the same as the standard print settings dialog. However, this will be as it is applied to the DWF output. I will leave everything as it stands, but We'll select the checkbox for Hide Unreferenced View Tags and change the color to black lines. I will save this setup as DWF setting. Click OK. Notice that now the print setup name of DWF setting is listed. Under Project Information, all project information parameters for the project are mined from the project and listed here. They can be edited here. If I want, I can save the settings. I am satisfied with these settings, so I will select Publish. A Publish DWF to Buzzsaw dialog is displayed. A list of Buzzsaw sites that are available is listed. And this list is currently blank on my setup. We'll get back to this in a minute. Under this area, under File Name Prefix, enter into a designator for the project. I will enter CAD Learning. Under Files of Type, I will select DWFX. Under Naming, I will select Automatic and Long. This will embed the prefix, sheet number, and sheet name into the file name. You can also select Automatic Short. On the right side, select Add. The Add a New Buzzsaw Location dialog is displayed. Name the Buzzsaw location, give it its URL and folder, and enter your username and password. Select OK when you're done, and select Publish for Revit to begin publishing your files to the desired Buzzsaw account.